10 News Pinpoint Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. And happy Thursday morning. It is 647. Gloomy, cool, and it makes you just want to stay in bed. Kind of a cozy type of morning. Here's live look right now in downtown San Diego from our Columbia Place Sky Cam. We've had marine layer clouds build overnight, and they have spilled towards the inland valleys. This is a live look from our Alpine Sky Cam, and you can't really see much due to those low-level clouds hanging out with us today. Uh, right now, we're running warmer than 24 hours ago, about 15 degrees warmer the closer to the foothill and mountain areas that you are. For spots like Ramona, Julian, and Alpine, they're seeing the biggest jump in temperatures in comparison to yesterday morning, and we're trending about 10 degrees warmer for Oceanside as well as Vista. Current temperatures, most of our, our most populated neighborhoods west of the mountains, the coast and inland valleys, right now are trending in the mid to low 60s. We're at 60 degrees right along the 15 in Fallbrook, 62 in Escondido. You push a little closer to the mountain areas, you're seeing about a 10 degree drop off in temperatures. 52 right now in Warner Springs. We're at 46 in Julian and 43 quite cool in Mount Laguna. All right, so the reason why we are staying cool, we've had a pair of storms sweeping by this week. This is a secondary one parking itself right over Southern California. That's going to amplify onshore flow, that marine layer for the next couple of days. Then we have some changes this weekend. Just as we start fall, we're going to enter a warming pattern due to an area of high pressure off the eastern Pacific. And then looking even further ahead to next Thursday, we'll have another trough move in and that should cool things down by the end of next week. So a little bit of a weather whiplash as we get through the next seven days. We are looking at partial clearing from these clouds later on this afternoon. Then this evening we'll have an increase of clouds that have the potential of squeezing out some light showers. When all is said and done, we're not looking at amounts impressive by any means. In fact, anywhere from a hundredth to about a tenth of an inch is what we're expecting greater along the inland communities for spots like Alpine. They'll collect maybe a few hundredths of an inch. It's enough to annoy you if you just wash your car. So maybe hold off until Sunday when things dry out and we clear up. Coastal areas will be in the low 70s if you're headed towards the Padres game tomorrow. I will be there. I'm really excited. Uh, they will play their first game in the White Sox series just before seven o'clock. Most of the day will be mild in the low 70s, upper 60s. Once we get to the sunset, hours will remain rather mild. But if you're like me, sensitive to the cold or anything below 70, you want to wear layers. Taking a look at what's ahead this weekend, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday look like some of the warmest days next week. Daytime highs will be a little above average for the coastal areas and the inland valleys. Taking a look at what's on tap for the inland communities, we are looking at mid to upper 70s. We are waking up on the cooler end, but we'll see those daytime highs rise about 10 degrees or so this afternoon. Uh, and that's your inland hour by hour. Taking a look at your fall really quickly, your fall forecast. I have a really warm day on top. Low 90s expected for Ramona. We'll be in the mid top or 80s in El Cajon as well as Alpine and I'm forecasting mid 80s in Fallbrook. Mountain areas, we will see those winds have a kick due to the onshore flow increasing later on tonight. Uh, and it looks like the strongest winds will be this evening into tomorrow morning. Isolated gusts anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour. Desert highs go from the 90s to the low hundreds by Sunday.